I will for my Nike Talk M6. Keep it simple, keep it real. Now, um, on Friday I did a first video, well, I've done a few, but, but basically the first video I just connected an antenna to my Nike Talk M6, which kind of, it, the principle works pretty simple. You have the actual device itself, you have two ports there, and you just connect the antenna to those two ports. Um, but I also committed to do some tests at Hallett Cove and now of course the weather didn't play along, it's winter and it was raining and still is raining. So I'm here in a back room at my home um, where the signal is probably the weakest I could get. So my modem goes to band 28 which is where I'm comfortable trying these antenna tests because I don't know for Netgear at this point in time what happens if it switches to I have band 3 as well here, which is a high frequency, and band 28, and sometimes it switches between the two. And I don't actually know exactly how the antenna um, routing and behavior is supposed to work on, on this specific model. Um, once I've done my field tests in um, Hallett Cove, I'm, I may actually want to open up this device and have a look on the inside, what happens with the antenna routing, and are there extra antennas, and are specific antennas routed to the two TS9 ports. But let's hold that for now. <coughs> sorry, for now and continue to the next actual um, test. So I'm at home in the back room. Uh, here, where I put the modem, this modem, on a specific spot on the floor. This is probably, you, you would know this from your home as well. I get a fairly weak signal, so I'll leave it there. I have to use the app then to, to give you readings on what actually happens. And I have an external antenna, so there's an external antenna routed to the caravan on the outside. So there's the actual pink caravan on the outside. Um, and the MIMO 3 on top of that. So MIMO 3 12 from pointing, the same one on the pink caravan is, is there. So when I connect these two cables, it'll be connected to an external, literally an external antenna outside and the modem is here with me, but it's on the floor where the reading is typically what it is going to be. I'm just gonna connect my app and record this. So when I do the final video, that, that's the proper one, not the live video I'm going to stream soon. Um, you'll actually see what it's going to be. So I'm now going to click and go onto the app itself. So um, where's the mobile app? There it is. So I click on the app and I'm in. And then I go to settings and I would go to network and advanced information. And it gives me RSRP minus 100, RSRQ is minus 13, signal to noise is minus one, and it says it's band 28. If I could show that on camera, not sure if I can, but that's currently the readings of this device as it is when it's on the floor. When I put it here, the readings will immediately change because um, it's, 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 the signal is just much better here in, in space than on the ground itself. Now, um, I have one antenna cable. I'm going to plug it in on the left. So this is the one on the left, like that. And I put it on the ground and I check what the difference in the reading will be. It says minus 90. So that port works. So if you connect one antenna to one port, that actually works. Um, minus 93 now. RSRQ is minus 12. Uh, signal to noise is 1 dBm. So or 1 dB, actually supposed to be without the M. Um, and band 28. So a bit of a change, a significant change on the signal strength. I don't know if that reading comes up. Significant change. In other words, the port on the left works. Great. Do the same. I have this thing. I'm just going to switch to the other port. Only one port connected, the other one is not connected. I'll put it back on the ground, where it is, see what the reading is when I change it. Minus 91, RSRQ is, no, minus 2, no, RSRP minus 92, RSRQ minus 13. Signal to noise, about zero again. So, it seems like the two ports, it doesn't really matter. You have one antenna, connect to one or to the other. There's the reading, I just want to put it in front of my face so the focus could move. I think it catches it. And it's still band 28. Um, important from my perspective to remember, never use a little cheap splitter cable. Many reasons for that. First of all, the splitter cable is a bad design. It's not going to do a good job for anything that you want it to do. Second of all, if you split the same signal twice, you break MIMO, because MIMO means multiple input, multiple output. So you want multiple signals. You want, want some sort of um, um, distinction between the signal. I can't remember the nice English word now, so um, sorry about that. So you want two unique signals. If you split the same signal twice, you are using the same signal, so you're breaking MIMO. Plus, you're cutting it in half. You're giving the modem 3 dB less on each port. 
why would you want to do that? Just get a good signal into one port. And that's really it. It works. One port, the other port, that's the answer to it. Um, just to complete the picture, you would of course want to connect um, both ports again like that. Um, this whole kit with the TS9 connectors and everything is available on rfshop.com.au so have a chat with us, um, give us a call and we'll help you with the MIMO 3 if you're a traveler or somebody who wants a simple Omni for a vehicle, a van or caravan or even a boat. Um, if you want a directional antenna you can do so as well. I'm just going to press record so it says 3, 2, 1, record. Um, and now if I look at the signal strength that I can get it actually, it reads weaker, it reads minus 97, but the signal to noise is better, it's 3 dBm. So the signal to noise is better. The modem is obviously doing something different now with the fact that it has, ah, and the key is there at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you could see it. It jumped to band 3. Band 3 is a higher frequency, which means all the readings are different. You can't compare it to what we had before. But because it now has a good antenna connected, it says, you know what, you don't need to stay on band 28. Let's get this user on band 3. Um, so I would expect my throughput would be significantly better than I would have had if I was on band 28. So um, yeah, RSRP now reads minus 100. Sounds bad but it's minus 100 on band 3. It's not minus 100 on band 28, which is different. And I'll just go to speedtest.net. Fingers crossed this is not going to be a bad reading. Um, and I just press go. And because of the excellent antenna, it says, no, yeah, band 3 is all good. All right, there we go. Our back download, our ping is 39, which is um, expected for this um, kind of technology. Download speed, it is hovering around 45 down um, megabits per second, 46, 47. I'm happy with that. Uh, ended at 47. And upload is hovering around 17920, 20, 21. So not a bad 4G connection at all. Pretty, pretty happy with that 24. It ends at about 24 megabits per second. There you go. As you can see, you can use a single antenna, port 1 or port 2, it does not matter, of course. But the best, as was happening here, will be that you use a MIMO antenna with two unique ports that goes into the modem and it seems to be at its absolute happiest. Thanks for watching. I will, in the coming weeks, go to Hallett Cove and do a proper test and then once I'm done, I am now telling you I'm going to open up this device and I'm going to see what looks, what happens on the inside. I just first want to get my tests done because who knows, I might break this thing and then there's no turning back after that but um let's let's have a look at that thanks for watching if you have any comments if you have any suggestions please let me know this video for instance was made based on the suggestion this morning from craig thanks a lot craig for making the suggestion reminding me of something i said in the previous video about doing this test now we've done this we know the answer and it's definitely used in using a single antenna so if you have any questions please let me know see you in the next video Bye bye